Which of the following terms best describes the appearance of the patient's gallbladder? Cholesis, colo, okay, cholesterolosis, chronic cholecystitis, gallbladder adenomyomatosis, porcelain gallbladder, or xanthogranulatomous cholecystitis. Okay. A 55-year-old woman presents to the clinic with a three-month history of intermittent right upper quadrant pain, nausea, and vomiting. She has a history of obesity and multiple episodes of biliary colic. Physical examination reveals tenderness in the right upper quadrant. Abdominal, ultras abdominal ultrasound reveals hyperechoic rim surrounding the gallbladder consistent with calcification and gallstones. I would call this, if I didn't know the answer choices, um, a porcelain gallbladder um, when you have a hyperechoic rim system of, with calcification. And that are also the uh, everything else is like pointing to that as well. Uh, past medical history um, would point to porcelain gallbladder. So I would point. I would say that. Perfect. Yeah, that's going to be your best answer choice here. Um, and why why do we why do we care about porcelain gallbladder? Like why 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 do we study it or why do we you need to know it? It's very likely to rather one of the two rather rupture, I think, or cause cancer. It's like super likely to cause cancer. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you can get um, gallbladder. I think it's adenocarcinoma, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And so you want to remember that. Right. You increase your risk for gallbladder cancer, which is why um, we study it and know it um, pretty rare. I mean, I, I think it's rare. I, I've never seen it. In person. <laughs> I mean, but I haven't had that much general surgery um, under my belt. But um, something that we learned about so that if you see that, you're like, oh, that thing needs to come out sooner rather than later because you don't want it to turn to cancer. Right. Mm.